we came across these terms many times in our books still we didn't know the proper meaning let's put an end to this this line represents the normal health status of a person any disease causing deterioration of health is represented as a downward slope here after spontaneous improvement as in case of viral infection and after treatment the signs and symptoms will decrease or disappear this is known as remission in case of psychiatry the patient no longer falls into the category that we used to diagnose him in the first place so this is remission after a period of remission if the signs and symptoms reappears it is called as relapse so from this we can infer that relapse is a return of symptoms of ongoing episode that was symptomatically suppressed let's look at an example to make this concept clear in case of nephrotic syndrome which is characterized by massive proteinuria hypoalbuminemia edema and hyperlipidemia after management with the steroids the patient goes for remission which is defined as urine albumin nil or trace in three consecutive early morning samples and if the patient goes for relapse which is often triggered by minor infections which is defined here as urine albumin 3 plus or 4 plus for three consecutive early morning samples having been in remission previously i think we are clear as of now for explaining the next term let's take the same situation again what if instead of remission the signs and symptoms worsens immediately after reduction or withdrawal of treatment the name given for this phenomena is rebound for example abrupt withdrawal of high potent corticosteroids like clobetazole for psoriasis can cause much more severe case of psoriasis to develop so until now we saw what is remission relapse and rebound here we saw remission which is a return of symptoms of an ongoing episode which was symptomatically suppressed it can be of two types partial and complete for simplicity let's consider recovery as complete remission or we can say the next stage of remission here we can say the patient is cured of the disease that is the initial episode will no longer cause deterioration of health but a new episode with signs and symptoms may develop this is called as recurrence so recurrence represents an entirely new episode let's say an example for recurrence in case of recurrent pneumonia the definition goes like this at least two episodes per year or three episodes ever with radiological clearance in between here the radiological clearance implies recovery or cure the next episodes here are of new onset so this is recurrence okay it's quiz time what does relapsing remitting means and what condition do you get it comment your answers below this is for your reference see you again happy learning